Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're comparing two of the most advanced fifth generation stealth fighters in the world, the American F-22 Raptor and the Chinese J-20 Mighty Dragon. This breakdown isn't just about numbers or specs, it's a full deep dive into design philosophy, real-world performance, technology, and how these jets dominate the modern battlefield. So stick around till the end, because this is going to be one of the most detailed comparisons you've ever heard. Let's start with their design philosophy. The F-22 was built with one purpose, absolute air dominance. Every curve, every angle, and every material is engineered for stealth. It has razor-sharp edges, internal weapon bays, radar-absorbent coatings, and a shape that makes it almost invisible to enemy radar. The J-20, on the other hand, follows a slightly different concept. It's also stealth-focused but designed primarily for long-range engagements. Its canards, delta wings, and elongated nose show that China optimized it for high-altitude, long-distance BVR, beyond visual range, combat. Canards improve maneuverability but make stealth more difficult to maintain, which is a notable difference between the two jets. Next, let's talk engines. The F-22 uses Pratt & Whitney F-119 engines that allow it to supercruise, meaning it can fly at supersonic speed without using afterburners. Only a few jets in the world can do this, and it gives the F-22 a massive advantage by reducing heat signature and fuel consumption. The J-20 originally relied on Russian AL-31 engines, then China upgraded to WS-10 engines, and now they are developing WS-15 engines that may allow true supercruise. But in real-world reports, the J-20 still hasn't matched the F-22's thrust-to-weight ratio or engine efficiency. That difference matters a lot in air combat. Now let's move to avionics and sensors. The F-22s and slash APG-77 AESA radar is considered one of the most advanced in the world, long-range detection, resistance to jamming, and extremely low probability of intercept. The J-20 also uses an AESA radar, and China claims strong sensor fusion and AI-assisted avionics. However, experience is where the F-22 has the upper hand. The Raptor has been deployed in real missions, major NATO exercises, and countless simulated combat scenarios. The J-20 is newer and has limited real combat exposure. Experience shapes performance, and right now the F-22 stands on top. Let's talk weapons. The F-22 carries AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles for long-range combat and AIM-9X sidewinders for close-range dogfighting. Both are extremely accurate and battle-tested. The J-20 uses powerful weapons too, especially the PL-15, which some reports say has greater range than the AMRAAM. China is also working on the PL-21, an even longer-range missile. For close combat, the PL-10 missile paired with helmet-mounted targeting makes the J-20 very dangerous. In long-range missile duels, the J-20 may have an edge, but missile performance depends heavily on pilot training, radar lock stability, and electronic warfare conditions, not just range. Now, dogfighting capability. This is where the F-22 dominates without debate. Its thrust vectoring engines, extreme agility, and ability to maintain energy in tight maneuvers make it arguably the best dogfighter ever built. If a fight goes into close range, the Raptor has a clear advantage. The J-20 isn't designed for close-quarters combat. It's a long-range hunter, not a knife fighter. Without thrust vectoring and with a larger body, it simply cannot match the F-22 in a turning fight. Stealth is another major factor. American stealth technology is still considered the gold standard. The F-22's radar cross-section is extremely small thanks to its shape, coatings, and weapon bay design. The J-20 is stealthy, but its canards and airframe geometry likely give it a higher radar cross-section. China is rapidly improving its tech, but as of now, the F-22 remains the more stealth-optimized aircraft. Pilot training also plays a huge role. 
F-22 pilots come from some of the world's most elite training programs, with extensive experience in real exercises and multinational operations. Chinese pilots are improving quickly, but they don't yet have the same level of exposure or combat-tested training environments. In modern warfare, the pilot's skill is often more decisive than the jet itself. In a realistic battle scenario, everything comes down to who sees whom first. In stealth versus stealth combat, radar capability and electronic warfare matter even more than speed or maneuverability. The F-22's sensor fusion and reaction time give it a strong advantage in taking the first shot. But the J-20's long-range missiles and high-altitude performance could allow it to engage from farther distances. If the engagement stays long-range, the J-20 can compete. But if it transitions into a dogfight, the F-22 almost certainly wins. So the final verdict, the F-22 is still the most dominant air superiority fighter on the planet. Its combination of stealth, maneuverability, engines, radar, and pilot expertise keeps it at the top. The J-20 is rapidly evolving and will continue improving, but as of today, the Raptor remains unmatched in real-world performance. If you enjoyed this comparison, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below which jets you want us to compare next. Follow for more.